we used to talk a lot about death because we knew very well that someday lucky won't be on our side they will kill us he even said uh, it's socialism or death because we want it no matter what it takes no matter what it takes even if it means death because we can really continue living in this inhuman conditions 28 year old and kole manguni the chairperson of the ekanana commune of south african shack dwellers movement abakhlali basi mojandolo was gunned down at his home in durban on august 20th manguni was out of prison on bail at the time of his assassination according to eyewitnesses His two assassins were part of the hit squad that had killed Ekanana's deputy chairperson Ayanda Ingila on March 8th. Both of them had been facing charges for the same murder along with two others, Ekanana branch secretary Mapiwe Gasela, a mother in her mid 20s, and 34-year-old Lando Shazi, chairperson of its youth league. Ingila, Manguni and Shazi had been first arrested in March 2021 and charged with the murder. All charges were dropped after it was proven in court that the witnesses of the police had provided false testimonies. Only months after their release in the end of September 2021, the three along with Mapiwe Gasela were arrested again in January 2022 and charged with another murder. They were released on bail by the end of February after the police were once again unable to show any evidence to make their case. They were given a hero's welcome at the Abakhlali General Assembly in the Ikhanana commune on March 6th. After the assembly had concluded, Ndukozo Ngubane, one of the police's false witnesses in the previous murder charge, and her brother, Khaya Ngubane, led goons into an attack on the commune members. Two days later, Khaya Ngubane, along with three other gunmen, assassinated Ngila, according to eyewitnesses. After Ngubane's arrest, his father, Samson Ngubane, an alleged local leader of the ruling African National Congress threatened Abakhlali members in the premises of Durban court that there will be bloodshed in Ikhanana. Samson is interested in dragging the commune land into the real estate market. This was stated by Nokuthala Mabaso, a mother of four who was a key witness to Ngila's murder in the affidavit she had prepared to oppose Khaya Ngubane's bail. And even before she was to present it in court Mabaso was also assassinated. Samson Ngubane and his brother were arrested for her murder on July 26th. Following her murder it had become evident that there was danger to the lives of Menguni, Shazi and Kasela. They were moved from the commune to a safe house. But on the day Menguni was killed they had come to the commune to work on its poultry farm and vegetable garden among the key projects which make Ikhanana Apaklali's landmark accomplishment. Since its inception in 2005, Abaklali has been occupying lands and building shacks with the collective labor of its own members to house the urban poor. Ikhanana is one such occupation with 3000 shacks. Since it was established in 2018, its residents have come under attack several times. Work on the commune's vegetable garden, poultry farm and tuck shop had come to a halt after the killing of Ingila and Mabaso. Residents have been living in fear as gunmen have allegedly been frequenting the commune and opening fire in the air at night. It was however resolved that the vegetable garden and poultry farm had to be revived. To contribute their labor to this work, Manguni, Shazi and Gasela had come out of their safe house to the commune on Saturday. After the work, Manguni had stayed back for a meeting in the evening to discuss the way forward for these projects. A couple of hours after the meeting, gunmen broke into the occupation and killed in Dukhole Manguri. In its statement Abaklali described him as a fearless leader who always stood for his community. Manguri knew that he had chosen to live in struggle in the shadow of death. He made it very clear in his calm and gentle way that he had chosen socialism or death, the statement said. Since the movement began, Manguri has become the 25th leader who has been lost to an assassination. Our Our fathers our grandparents they were promised that if they struggle if they defeat apartheid regime 
all their problems will be solved. If they defeat apartheid regime, they will reach to socialism. They said everyone will have access to land. They said so because they knew, they knew the impoverished wanted to have access to land. But what happened in 1994? If we say we believe in socialism or we want to bring socialism into existence, yet land is not on top of the table, will forever languish in poverty. 